Let's have a look on this example. This question says that there is a copper rod of diameter 1 cm and its length is 8 cm. This rod is drawn into a wire whose length is given to be 18 meters and it is of uniform thickness. Then we have to find the thickness of the wire. So let's first understand what is given in the question. We are given that there is a rod whose diameter is 1 cm and its length is 8 cm. It is drawn into this wire whose length is given to be 18 meters and we have to find the thickness of this wire. So let's say that its thickness is T. This we have to calculate. Now we know very well when one solid is drawn into another solid by melting or by drawing it then the volume of both the solids always remains the same. So the volume of this rod and this wire will be equal and we can easily find out the volume of this rod since we know its radius and we also know its length and the rod is in the form of cylinder. So the volume of cylinder is pi r square h. So we can use this volume of cylinder to find out the volume of this rod. So let's find out the volume of rod will be equals to pi r square h and if we put the values of r and h we can calculate the volume of this rod. So this will be pi radius will be 1 by 2 since diameter is given to be 1 this will be 1 by 2 whole square and height is or length is given to be 8 centimeters. So this will be 1 by 2 whole square into 8 centimeters cube. Now similarly we can find out the volume of this wire. This is again in the form of cylinder. So the volume of this wire will be equals to pi. Its diameter we had assumed to be t that is the thickness of this wire. So its radius will be t by 2. So this will be t by 2 whole square into the length of this wire is given to be 18 meters. Now this is given into meters and we have to put the value in centimeters to keep the unit same. So we'll multiply this by 100. So this will be 1800 centimeters cube. And now we know that these two volumes will be equal. So we can write down that volume of this rod will be equals to volume of the wire. So we can equate these two values and calculate the value of T. So we can write down the volume of rod is pi into 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into 8. This will be equals to pi. The volume of wire is pi into t by 2 into t by 2 into 1800. Now we can solve it. So this will get cancelled two times. Pi will also get cancelled and we can get the value of this to be this will be 1800 t square equals to 8. Now this term will go in the denominator. So this will be t square equals to 8 upon 1800. We can cancel this by 2. This will be 4 and this will be 900. Now if we take the under root on both the sides we can get the value of t here. So we can get the value of t by taking under root here. So this will be the under root of 4 will be 2 and the under root of 900 will be 30. So this will be 2 by 30 and this will again get cancelled. This will be 1 and this will be 15. So we can get the value of t to be equals to 1 by 15 centimeters. So 
we can say that the thickness of this wire will come out to be 1 by 15 centimeters. And you can see here the thickness is quite less than the original diameter of the rod. Since the length of the wire has increased multifolds, so its thickness has reduced to the same proportion.